Okay, let's solve uh, problem 51, which asks us to find the acceleration due to gravity near the surface of a small or a uh, collapsed star. Uh, we were told that the mass of the star is 1.5 times the mass of the sun. So uh, here I looked up the mass of the sun on um, on Google, and uh, and here it is right here. And so our mass is going to be 1.5 times that. So it is going to equal uh, 2.984 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. And um, the radius of the star is 10 kilometers. So we should be able to find the uh, force of gravity uh, on the surface would be uh, g m1 m2 all over r squared, which is um, universal law of gravitation. And we're going to set that equal to ma, Newton's second law. You'll notice that the mass of the object that we place near the star uh, divides out, and we're left with the acceleration would equal g times the mass of the object, in this case the star, all over the radius out from the center, or the distance away from the center. So this is going to equal 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11th uh, times the mass, 2.984 times 10 to the 30th, all divided by 10,000 meters squared. 1.99 times 10 to the 12th um, meters per second squared. So in part B, that was part A. In part B, they asked us to find the weight. Uh, we know weight is equal to mg, so the effective g of that star is equal to its acceleration. So this would be the weight of an object that is a baseball. So 0 0.120 kilograms times um, this acceleration, 2 times 10 to the 12th, is going to equal 2.4 times 10 to the 11th newtons. So that baseball weighs quite a bit when it's on the surface of that star. Um, and in part C, they ask us to find the potential energy um, of the amount of change in potential energy for a 70 kilogram person climbing a one centimeter tall mountain. So we know that the potential energy is mgy. So this is going to equal m, which is our 70 kilogram person, uh, times g, which in our problem is 2 times 10 to the 12th meters per second squared. And our height is uh, 1 centimeter tall, so 0 0.01 meters. And so that we expend an incredible amount of energy to climb this mountain. So our answer is 1.4 times 10 to the 12th joules. So we have 1.4 trillion joules of energy to climb that mountain.